What's up guys? So I figured I'd do something fun today and uh, do some soap cutting videos. They say, it's, they say it's satisfying, so I got some soap here in my bathroom. Got the soap here. Figured we could do some soap cutting videos. No, I'm just kidding guys. <laughs> you know what's satisfying? Knock out a $5,000 motor job at the shop. So let's go head over to the shop and uh, knock that motor out so I can finish making this video and edit for you guys. Catch you in a bit. Got one of those today. Uh, I've actually had it in the shop here a couple days now. And uh, you know, just been busy, haven't able to get around to it. Um, and it's a shame I'm doing it. Customer came in, um, talking about his wife's friend's brother's car is at a shop and they're telling her they need a new engine and all this stuff and this is this and the car's only got 60,000 miles on it which is a shame, you know, but you know, GM Equinox, maybe 2012 or something like that, it's got 65,000 miles on it, maybe 70, not really sure. But uh, finally get it here, get the story, the real story out of the customer. She pretty much drove it with no oil in it. Um, I know these Equinoxes are pretty much notorious for oil issues, whether it's burning oil, leaking oil, and the timing chain tensioner, the uh, solenoids, they're all, dependent on oil pressure so you run these things with no oil in it chances are you're gonna you know skip a tooth bust a bust a phaser or whatever and uh, bend your valves and that's pretty much what happened to her so I originally quoted her to do an engine rebuild you know, with 60,000 miles she didn't want to do that she asked me I, I always give the option she asked me about a used motor um, this time around I got a really nice motor from the junkyard it has only 40,000 miles probably something that was in a wreck or whatever but it's still a GM motor I'm putting back in it so you know I, I, I don't know I pretty much explained that to her she's thinking about trading it in but I'm gonna run through this one I got uh, here it is here I got my gloves out getting ready early in the morning just me at the shop kind of this is my uh, this is my Zen come to, come to work and work on stuff all day get this work done got my gloves ready got my coffee getting ready to start to drop this one out I'll probably uh, I, I finally found the tripod back there I couldn't find it for a few days but I found it I'm gonna set up the tripod and uh, here's the engine I got from my normal supplier I know this one's good they didn't do bad pulling it out either but it's definitely clean looking um, this is the one going in. This one's only got 40,000 miles or so on it. But here we go again, guys. Another motor job at the auto shop life. Get this one knocked out.
right, guys, she's out. Couple quick tips on this. Uh, these got the radiator support at the bottom, hooked to the cradle. You wanna just bungee it up, make sure to keep the radiator in place. Uh, a couple of bungees or zip ties, whatever, however you guys wanna secure the radiator. Uh, make sure you disconnect the power steering. I always like to mark that where it's at. Disconnect all the uh, ABS wires, anything that's gonna stay with the cradle. Obviously disconnect, but there it is. I like to, uh, I like to start unplugging the harness stuff while it's still in there. You don't necessarily need to go this far, but that's just a simple thing I do because this harness got to get changed over anyways. So I do that while I'm there, you know, sitting up top. But there it is. Get this thing broken apart, separate the trans, switch everything over with the new motor over there. See what's good, what I'm going to be using. I like to try to keep the good parts with the original switch everything else over but there it is cradle motor trans axles rack everything dropped
All right, guys, so it's the next day. I had to get out of here last night. Got a little tired, but I got the, uh, got the motor stand back onto the cradle. We're gonna button this thing up, see what we can get done today. So, here we go.
Shut up and sit down. That's it, she's in. All buttoned up. Get the fluids in it. Coolant, oil. Bleed it out, bleed the coolant system. Should be ready to roll.